Hello, and welcome to From Cardiff with Love, the documentary about modern Doctor Who's home. <laughs> Located in the south of Wales is Cardiff, the capital city of the country. And ever since 2005, when Doctor Who came back, it's been its home. It's where it's based, and it's where the majority of it is filmed. So recently, I took a little trip down there to see what I could find. And oh boy, I found a lot. Starting off on the bay, we have the theatre, known only as the Millennium Centre, with its bronze exterior instantly making it recognisable, and visually striking, especially at night time with all the lights lit up. As for its link to Doctor Who, the lobby has been used twice. First of all in Series 2's New Earth, and secondly in Series 6 with The Girl Who Waited, both doubling up as alien landscapes. Just right next to Millennium Centre is what is known as the Torchwood Tower. As you can tell by the name, it was used in the Doctor Who spin-off Torchwood, which was predominantly set in Cardiff. Speaking of Torchwood, if you go down to the docks of the bay, you'll find this, Yanto Shrine plastered with fan art, fan letters, postcards, quotes and more, dedicated to the character that Gareth David Lloyd played, yeah, real Yanto Jones, who died in the show, and his death was very emotional for the viewers, and thus, this exists. So, yeah, Yanto Shrine. Uh, I've never, ever in my life seen a shrine dedicated to a fictional character, but here we are, and it's brilliant. Now just by where Yanto Shrine is at the docks but on the different level, you'll find this place, the Hub Box. You might not recognise it from Doctor Who from this form, but this is what used to be Eddie's Diner, the American diner that we used in The Impossible Astronaut from Series 6 and Hellbent in Series 9. But unfortunately Eddie's Diner was closed a couple of years ago and has been refurbished into the Hub Box. Speaking of places where you can get a bite to eat, we went to this place which will definitely be remembered by Who fans because this is the exact restaurant that the Ninth Doctor and Margaret Le Slovene dined in in Boomtown in Series 1. In fact, Boomtown is the main story that I think of when I think of Doctor Who in Cardiff because it's entirely set there, so you'll find a lot from that story. Now, unfortunately, at the restaurant, they didn't have steak and chips on the menu, which I was very gutted to hear, but their burgers get a five-star review from me. Now, having a little walk around, you will find the more urban area of Cardiff with people's houses. And here we found a little street, which is very close to the bay. See that little blue house there? That is Amy and Rory's house from series 6 and 7, used in The God Complex, The Doctor, The Widow and the Wardrobe, The Power of Three, among other episodes. Now, as it is somebody's property, I didn't go up close, but I got it from afar, and it was such a cool find, I, I think. Moving back to the Bay Area, we have a few more locations to show you. So, first of all, there's the Welsh Parliament. Obviously, a bit more extravagant than Downing Street, in my opinion. And this was used in Series 3's of The Lazarus Experiment. And taking a stroll across the Bay, you will find this, which is formerly the Doctor Who Experience, which went from 2012 to 2017. I went there in 2017, and I have a few pictures here to show you, but... Seeing it relegated to this is heartbreaking. But don't dismay just yet. See that little gateway there? That leads to a little cafe on the side of the bay, which I actually went to when I initially came to the Doctor Experience in April of 2017. And this cafe actually doubled for Australia in Series 10's The Pilot. The funny thing is, I went to this cafe two weeks before the pilot aired, so it couldn't have been timed better. And also in this area, we found the Holy Grail itself, BBC Comrie Studios, where they actually filmed Doctor Who, where the TARDIS set is, where all the props and costumes are, and seeing it was something else. It was a sight to behold. We then went on a little boat trip around the bay, and I want to give a shout out here to the Daffodil Open Boat Trip, because that it was absolutely incredible, and the gentleman there, he was very good, he was very... Good with his stuff. And he was also a Doctor Who fan, so knew a lot of the locations that they'd used. So 
he was he was telling us all about them. So I can give you that information here. Now these block of flats here not only acted as Owen Harper's flat in Torchwood, but was also where David Tennant, Vreem Rajman, John Barrowman and Rusty Davis stayed when they were filming here. Fourth up, bottom left, is where John Barrowman used to stay when he was filming here. And the actress Freema Angman, all these, who played Martha in Doctor yeah. she used to stay in there as well. Here, with all these little houses over there, is where the infamous stolen Earth cliffhanger was filmed, where the Doctor gets shot by the Dalek. The man says that he and a few others remember going there to watch them filming and it was very funny seeing the Dalek being wheeled off on a lorry. Over here with these brick warehouses is where Love and Monsters from series 2 was partly shot. Both the man and my parents are not fans of this episode. I beg to differ but to each their own. Over here on these docks is where part of the Monk trilogy from series 10 was shot and also near these docks by these two little flags here is actually an unseen series 13 location as of yet allegedly a Chinese fishing boat was spotted here a few weeks ago so this will be something to look for in series 13 you heard it first from me people actually probably somebody already covered this leak about ages ago but uh, whatever whatever right exclusive it was a great boat trip and a really insightful you know it was really insightful into the opinions and perspectives of an older fan you know he the first episode he remembers watching was the web planet from the Hartnell era and he's very much not a fan of the Chibnall era proudly proclaiming we want more monsters something I agree with and the cherry on top of this is that he owns a piece of the TARDIS prop and I got to hold it, so I can say that I have held a piece of the actual TARDIS. Then we went on the Ferris wheel, where we not only discovered that my mum has a fear of heights, but also that Cardiff from up above is a magnificent view. To a kill. Sorry for the bad joke. But seriously, Cardiff is magnificent. Not just because of the Doctor Who locations, but it is beautiful. All the buildings there, there is so much to do, so much to see, so much you can eat. There is so much to explore and see. And this video just scratches the surface of it. And if you ever get the chance, I cannot recommend it enough. But everything comes to an end and a trip was over. <laughs>